What we have here is an ESE Latin rod from Repsol Company. And if you see this Latin rod, it's right in the middle of our electric field. Our electric field is a square plate of 2 times 2 meters, and we leave the floor to 1 meter high so that the electric field is 2 meters apart. We will boost the voltage in a moment. It is a 50 kilowatts direct current field. And the field will be 25 kilowatts per meter at a distance of 2 meters. You can take a look at our equipment here. This is a high voltage pulse source, which is fed to the cloud plate through an isolated spherical gap. And then our DC source is directly fed to the cloud plate, which is on the left side of the isolated spherical gap. In a moment, we can see that the waveform above is composed of a gap discharge action that is coupled within the moment. As long as such action on a waveform, it means that our experiment is adding this field. All right, let's begin this experiment. The electric field is added at 50 kilowatts, which is 25 kilowatts per meter in distance 2 meters on direct current field to simulate thunder cloud. From the footage, let's take a look at the waveform. The waveform will display on this screen. And we can see the peak up there. This peak separates the gap between the DC source and the impulse. If there is no such peak in the waveform, it means no DC source is applied. And this is a typical waveform. Then clamped time and zero return time. You can see that the first turning point is clamped time. And here is a zero return time point. We usually record two wave points. Okay, let's run the test operation. This for the test, either ESE and traditional roads will be tested for 100 times of each to determine the difference pre-charge time of each rod. After we are done the ESE, we will continue the 100 traditional rods. Then we will statistically filter out the outlier from collected data, count the rest records to see how many mils per second ahead the ESE rod is compared to the traditional rod. OK, one more time. Now the ESE is done. Let's do the transition rod. You can see the tape of this rod. Its radius is 1 mm, length is 13 cm, pole diameter is 27 mm, length is 1.02 m. And then there is a 20 x 20 cm square plate underneath. This is a traditional standardized rod. All following procedures in our experiment is based on the data comparison between the ESE and the standardized traditional rod. So we just finished the ESE. We are going to switch back to the regular. Look at the distance for me. Well, it's good. 